Hey there everyone, today is game day and today is special because Tennessee Titans will, will have a chance to clinch the playoff berth today and so here's the thing, I'll be doing injury reports on not only the Detroit Lions versus Tennessee Titans game but the Houston Tech and Houston Texans versus Indianapolis Colts game games but also the Jaguars and Ravens game and the Patriots and Dolphins game. Why are those two are going to be added? Well, it's quite simple. For the Tennessee Titans to clinch the playoff berth, they need either the Jaguars to beat the Ravens or the pa or the Patriots to win against the Dolphins and a Browns victory over the or tie over the New York Giants. Thanks to Los Angeles Chargers, they have multiple scenarios. So, yeah, I got it do multiple inactives. Anyway, let's go. Anyways, I'm going to start with the Texans and Colts injury report first since they're not involved with the Titans playoff scenario right now. Let's start off with the Houston Texans, the away team. The following people are out. Out this week. For Texans, quarterback Josh McCow, running backs CJ Prosize and Duke Johnson, cornerback Philip Gaines, cornerback John Reed, Tackle Charlie Heck and defensive tackle Andrew Brown. Now, if you're an Indianapolis Colts fan, you're going to be in for one hell of a of a of a neat problem. Oh, no, wait, no, you're not. Colts quarterback Jacob Eason, wide receiver DeMichael Harris, tackle Will Holden, wide receiver Desmond Patman, and cornerback Traymon Smith. Those guys are out. These five players are the only ones out. I thought I was going to get more reaction out of the Colts game, but still, no. No. I thought for a second there DeForest Buckner was out, but no. No he's no he's not. Now on to the Lions and Titans game. Let's start off with the Lions. As you all know, Frank Ragnall and Kenny Galladay are out, but so are Daryl Roberts, Jonathan Williams, Logan Stenburn, Tyler Crosby, and Kareem Martin. Now for Tennessee Titans, we finally get the news that Adoree Jackson is playing. We also see Roger Saffold active, but now comes the out outings. No Kenny Vaccaro, no no Christian Fulton, which, what the heck? Fulton practice, what the heck? Yeah, so we're going to be, uh, so yeah, he's not playing. Neither is Laurel Murchison, Deont Deonta Foreman, and Jeff Swam, Brooks Reed, and Daniel Munier. All that combined with Kenny Vaccaro means Titans in final injury report. So yeah, Amari Hooker is going to be in this game. Luckily, Adoree Jackson's coming back. And don't forget, Caleb Raymond is also out due to, to, to being on the COVID-19 list. Now then, on to the games that are crucial for the Titans to make the playoffs, starting off with the Jaguars and Ravens. Jaguars players that are out this week. Jake Lawton, Sidney Jones the fifth, Lug Barku, Quincy Williams, and Daniel Ross. For the Baltimore Ravens injury report, Mark Ingram's out, Jimmy Smith is out, Marcus Peters out, Jahad w Ward is out, Christian Welts is out, 
Tristan Colin Castolio is out, and Calais Campbell. I don't know if they're they're mocking the Jaguars. I mean, seriously, what the heck? Now let's move on to the Patriots and Dolphins game. Dolphins players that are out. Quarterback Brian Hoyer, tight end Jordan Thomas, cornerback Joe Juan Williams. And, of course, the people that are out that were called out yesterday, Damian Harrison and Dante Moncrief. Now, the Dolphins injury report comes crazy. Devontae Parker, Jakeem Grant, Chandler Cox, Jason Stowbridge, Eric Flowers, and Mike Gisiki. Gisiki? That one was the craziest of them all. Anyways, good luck, good luck, and I'll be doing the and if and if the Jaguars lose today's game, I'll be doing the inactives report for the Cleveland Browns and New York Giants game when I live stream it tonight. Okay. So see ya.